So good morning. We're gonna do a little practice as I want to talk about the subject of or Kundalini sexual energy that everybody has and it goes in waves. There will be times where it's stronger and ways where it will be pretty steady and neutral and just kind of effortless. But we need to talk about this because a lot of people um, have been brainwashed about depleting themselves energetically through letting go of their sexual energy through orgasm. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Like, if you're a person that enjoys orgasm, this kind of practice will lead you to even greater experiences with your own body and mind. And, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know, we've been so suppressed and repressed onto this energy and it's literally all vital energy. It's an energy that we can use, we can harness, we can heal, we can uh, manifest things with. It's um, like with that subtle energy that keeps us very focused, keeps us very resilient, gives us so much strength to help us also activate and see better, you know, and we're clear, clear seeing. And um, all we have to do is simply observe the body, observe the energy, and because energy knows how to navigate through the body channels. So first, you know, we have to obviously be open-minded and know that whatever we have learned and thought about certain things are probably not it, and it's been probably depleting you and leaving you a sense of depression and anxieties and all these other uh, side effects from depletion from your like vital energy so what we want to do is recall back or um i want to say um it's it's kind of I want to say integrity, but it's not integrity. It's just like harnessing, accumulating, reclaiming. We want to reclaim back ourselves, you know, because we can just let loose and let go and let life do whatever they wants with us. And we can't do that because then life is going to take your soul out, literally. It will suck you dry and you don't want that you want to be so empowered that you're sitting strong and so present that you can go through life and life won't move you with all the crazy waves and cut um, chaotic um, emotional collective pain and suffering that's happening right now so we need you stronger we don't need you more lost we have plenty of lost people and people that are not aligned. So this will help you come back to your empowerment because we need you empowered and we need you grounded and we need you very, very like mindful, you know, and the more you are working with this energy, the more you will, uh, you know, your words will, will, will have power behind it. They will not be just empty words. It will they be loaded with this energy that you're harnessing within yourself. So there is definitely a little, um, lots of layers that one needs to work through in order to have everything in integrity and alignment because uh, one leads with the other. And for example, if you are not using your words properly and you have all this accumulated energy, then it will lead to a bigger karma in a way, you know, or, you know, if you're not being mindful, what comes back, it be, it be you know, throw the ball out, whatever you come, like, it will come back out, whatever it is that we do, so we want to make sure that we are clear, and we can go to bed really easy, and that we don't have anything in our subconscious, like, and a shame or guilt, and, you know, we have to act right, you know, like, that's part of life, and karma, and all of that it comes with, and our dharma, we have to have everything, you know, we have plenty of choices through all days to make it right. And it's okay, you know, I've gone through my own struggles and things where I, we have to learn to forgive ourselves and we have to learn how to correct ourselves as soon as we see the patterns, you know, like, and it's important to see the patterns, not just like be blinded about it, no, like see, see, okay, and be humble about it. And in that moment, 
you have the opportunity and chance to mindfully rewrite the story, rewrite and reprogram yourself. So breathing as a tool number one to go through all this harnessing and moving of energy, which is epic. One is, is literally a light bolt, a lightning that strikes your body. And if you don't know how to rechannel it, navigate it, use it, and expand it, then you know it can just drive you crazy and it, you just want it out, you know. But it's important to know how to move and channel and maintain this energy because we are vessels, they are meant to. Um, be like an antenna to take in, collect, align, and project it in whichever way is most beneficial for yourself, your family, your collective, pretty much everybody will benefit from your own practice. So it's really important, you know, that you stay committed because it's not just for yourself, literally for all of us. We all need to know this. So first of all, we're just going to take a deep inhale. Allow yourself to just fill your lungs, to close your eyes. And what you want to do is really, really open up your diaphragm, pushing the belly out and pushing the belly in. And then inhaling, expanding every rib, elongating the muscles and articulations and ligaments in between the ribs. And exhale. And you want to inhale, inhale, inhale. From the upper part of the chest, making sure that we expand, we lift off the shoulders. As higher as possible. Until there is no more air able to come through the nostrils. And then exhale. So you're going to inhale, belly out, ribs out, shoulders up, and just observe what it feels. Just to hold, retain your breath slightly and slowly, belly in, ribs in, shoulders down. You want to be able to feel this movement as effortless as possible, so you are retraining your body. Red shoulders and then exhale. So you want to move the belly out, breath out, shoulders up, and then exhale. And you keep doing the same flow. Belly out as possible, out, out, out. Open all those ribs. Shoulders up. And then it's out. Shoulders down. And hold your breath out. So inhale again, you're doing something that the sages, the Buddhas, the yogis, the monks do all the time, which is refocusing and maintaining that strength and focus on the breathing and just following with your own awareness that air. Mm. 
You can also jump see this energy, but you can feel it. Goes into the lungs, expands. Open up and open. Exhale. Now on the exhale, you are going to squeeze the perineum, the belly in as much as you can, as close to the spine as possible, as the line as possible, no air in, exhaling it completely out. And inhaling, bringing the energy from the sexual organs, the glands, all the way up to the spine. And you can bring it up to the heart. And if you want to move a little bit higher, you should make a flip through the back of the head, all the way up, throat, third eye, back, and go back to the heart and down. It makes me think of the ink, the Egyptian, you know, like that, with a circle. That is the, the um, eternal life and immortality and that just brilliant technique, bringing the energy up, expanding, opening, and then bringing it higher and around and back under through the heart and the spine. So we're going to start, now that you know the breathing, keep breathing like that, by doing um, exercises. Uh, so what we want to do is pump the energy higher for more lower chakras, you know, we want to make sure that this energy is uh, the way it works, you know, you should be harnessing your energy or being abstinent for some time. After you're abstinent, you feel this energy all the time, so it becomes kind of, uh, you get used to it, you know, you have to get used to having this energy, not to be depleted out of energy, that you mean to have all this force and energy within. And it's important to know how to move it. So you start doing a squeeze in the perineum in your sexual organs. You start to squeeze and lift up. You want to just exercise, making sure you have a strong muscles. So. So you're lifting the energy up to the navel area, you're inhaling and as you're exhaling you feel it all the way up to the navel. Just do just a few more. Job. Now breathing in and out, just normal breathing. Try to anchor center. Normal breathing, no squeezing, nothing, just normally following your breath. So if there is a specific uh, area in your body 
that has been in pain or you have different illnesses or arthritis or something anything anything that you feel in your body that is blocking you from being at your fullest highest potential you know then we bring in the oxygen it can be very simple it can be just with your breath bring in that oxygen into the area and you can do movements and just as an example you know and the or stretching you know but bring in the oxygen to the area making sure that we're opening a space for the energy to go through the area grab it and then exhale it out it can be to any organ if you have issues with your heart exhale it out inhale bring it to the area that you need it and then exhale it out inhale Collecting fresh, clean oxygen, prana, life force, and then exhaling the pain, the struggle, the resistance, the trauma, exhaling it out into the sun, into the water that I cleanse, and collecting fresh new oxygen, bringing it to the area to restore, to heal, to re. To re Vive, renourish the area. We all have a blueprint of what's to be completely at our optimal health. All of our body knows that and has a as a encoded template. And all we gotta do is remove remove what's not in alignment. It's for the template to just uh, for our body to mimic back that original template that we all have anything 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 can be restored anything can be healed even if things have been removed or you have metal then the template is energetically is still rechanneling through the body following the original energy map that we all carry So after you know this first exercise, this is just number one out of a few. We still gotta go, you know, through the solar plexus and the heart, and there is so much more to activate. But as a little practice for starting off, you know, to integrate and to reclaim back our own energy. Uh, this is a good practice to do throughout your day. You can be driving, doing your exercises, you can be driving, breathing, you can be driving, or working, you still, nobody knows, and instead of dropping the energy, you are bringing it into the spine, you know, so it stays higher, instead of the collective, bringing us down, oh no, we're holding energy upwards, and, uh, I'm going to make another video just to talk about more of where I learned these things and um, yeah, it's just pretty amazing and I'm honored to carry and to have um, this as a practice, you know, I learned this by experiencing myself this different teachings from a few different teachers and indigenous and also just myself, literally self-research and uh, it's been very powerful just through motherhood you know we go i go through a lot of uh, demanding life force you know to keep going so this is the way that i reclaim and collect back energy to keep going it doesn't matter i keep going and i have so much energy i can't even it's it's amazing we're meant to have all this energy and free channel in the voice that we're that must benefit you and your family and the collective so it's important to know how to navigate what's to be a human vessel and with all the carries we don't we're not taught this and it's important that everybody knows this everyone because everyone has this energy and it's the main force of creation of life and we want to make sure that we're able to know what's to be with it, how to use it, how to embody it, and how to be with it instead of mm, driving you crazy and 
leading you in other pathways that they want you to be on because they don't want you empowered they want you all depleted and blah blah blah, blah. like no it's, it's time you know we we got no more time to be fucking around and you have to learn how to stay focused you know if we stay focused and centered and grounded and aligned and open you know to navigate through it's so beautiful i promise i will share more about what what this can lead to because at the end it's just absolute bliss and we want more bliss in the world so whatever we want in the world we have to be it so namaste